Hello West Ham Network, it is Holly and I'm here with your deadline day special running you through some of our best and most insignificant January deadline day business over the years. Now while the Jota deal has become too complicated and Osman is said to be seen as a bit too much of a risk by Sullivan, it's not looking particularly likely that we're going to be seeing much more business done before the end of the window. But that is not going to stop us talking about the window anyway, is it? Now if you enjoy this video, please do give us a comment and give it a thumbs up so that we know that you have enjoyed it. Now, let's start by talking about deadline day signings over the years. Now, a lot of people say that there are no good signings to be made in January, but this isn't always true. So while we haven't made many January signings most of the time, some of those that we have actually made in recent years have ended up having a massive impact. So we're going to start by running it all the way back to January 2020. We signed three players this window, Randolph, Suchek and Bowen. And here they are. So the Bowen deal was done late on deadline day itself. At that moment, we were actually in a battle to stay away from relegation. Bowen had done well at Hull and the deal basically stalled over the personal terms on the morning of deadline day itself. But we got the deal over the line in what has been an absolutely incredible signing for £18 million plus £7 million add-ons. And without that deadline day signing, things could be very different right now at West Ham. And obviously, he continues to be one of our best players. Suchek also joined, as you can see, on loan in January 2020. He had not obligation to join on a permanent if we stayed up, which of course we did. And he became a permanent West Ham player in July 2020 for what was, I believe, 21 million euros. Now, going to 2021, that was packed with last minute action, marking Ben Rama's deal basically becoming permanent after loaning him from Brentford. This then freed up a domestic loan space for Jesse Lingard, who we managed to complete the signing of on deadline day, with both of these being done last minute on the 29th of January. So again, two very, very late last minute deals. 2022, we didn't actually make any signings despite countless rumours. And then in 2023, we signed Danny Ings, which some people were pleased with at the time, knowing that we did need a backup striker. We'd all be needing one and wanting one for ages. And technically, he was a proven Premier League goal scorer, which made him statistically less risky than some of the other options. Obviously, this move has not exactly gone to plan and we continue to fit a striker into our existing system, or at least we did until we put Bow in there. And then 2024, this window, where we sit right now, we've obviously signed Kevin... Kevin... <laughs> <laughs> we have signed Calvin Phillips and Kevin, um, who is no doubt a talented player that could improve our side and have a really big impact. Whether we will actually be able to negotiate a fair price to buy him if he plays really well for us remains to be seen. It could probably be he'll do really well for us um, and either go back to City or they'll put a massive price tag over his head. But we can't worry about that. We need to worry about the present moment. And currently, we have the option to have a very good player for the rest of the season, so it can't be bad. The question I have for you, though, is why are you hoping for more this window? I know that for me, I was really hoping that the left wing situation was going to be resolved, most importantly. That was my priority going into this window. That was what I really, really wanted us to see fixed. Um, but I'm also not unhappy that we've snapped up Phillips when he was available. You've got to take players that are sometimes not in your key positions when the opportunity arises. Otherwise, you will miss out on very talented players at times. Hopefully, he'll be really good for us. So let us know what you think in the comments. I know it doesn't look now like the left wing situation is going to be resolved at all. So it will be interesting to see what happens. Now, one of the most common themes over the years is that a lot of these signings, as you will have seen, looking back at these, the dates that we have here and here, a lot of these have actually been very, very late. And we leave it very late to make these decisions. And most of them have taken place in the second half of the window. In fact, I think all of them and four of them have been within about a day of the actual deadline itself. So we are no strangers to deadline day signings. So all hope is not lost. We're starting out there doing what he does best, hopefully. Now for the big question, will we make a signing in 2024 other than Calvin Phillips on loan from City? So there are many positions that we could do with strengthening, aren't there, realistically? But the clock is ticking and time is running out with very little news coming out about positive positive updates in terms of who we're bringing in. And on top of everything, as we know, West Ham also played Bournemouth at 7.30 tonight, meaning it's a little bit more difficult to actually get any business done. Moyes did comment on this, as you can see here, basically saying that we're playing once again on deadline day, which is inconvenient, but there is no excuse for not signing players. 
As a reminder, we actually played on deadline day in the summer and we beat Luton 2-1. So hopefully we can get a similar win against Bournemouth tonight. Whatever happens for the rest of the day, here's hoping we can just end it with three more points. And we actually have a game in hand. So a win tonight would put us six points clear of Newcastle, which is quite impressive considering this season doesn't feel like it's been a massive positive. Everyone's been saying how well Newcastle are doing, but we do find ourselves with the ability, I know that we throw opportunities away at times, but the ability to go six points clear of them. So there we go. That is all for me for now. Remember, if you haven't already become a channel member, it's never too late, so don't miss out. For February's monthly draw, we have got a home shirt signed by the likes of Caduce and James Will Prowse up for grabs, as well as signed football uh, an actual signed football up for grabs as well so do not miss out if you want a chance to win signed memorabilia every single month as well which is very exciting and exclusive content make sure you sign up to become a channel member it's great fun so stay, stay tuned for more deadline day content oh, I'm skipping all over my words here stay tuned for more deadline day content as well as content around the Bournemouth game to keep you up to date with everything West Ham thank you so much as always for watching I hope you have an amazing deadline day and until next time when you are